So you've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Okay, that's cool. Here's what you need to know. Welcome back everyone. My name is Lena and you tuned into another segment of The Crockett Way. Now, if this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. We thank you for coming and we hope that you enjoy the videos and consider subscribing. In this particular video, I wanna talk about what you need to consider before starting a YouTube channel. The number one thing that you should consider above all else is praying about it first because we don't know what lies down the road. It's important that we have that foundation, knowing that whatever endeavor that we undertake, it's in God's will. And if it doesn't work out, it's okay, because guess what? It's in His will. So, number one, pray about it first. Number two, determine why you wanna start a YouTube channel in the first place. Is it because of the money? Is it because of the notoriety? Is it because of the popularity? Why? What is your why? What drives you to get on a platform that shares your life with the world, shares your talents with the world, or share whatever it is that you want to bring to the table? Determine why you want to do it. Because when you determine why you want to do it, when things get hard and you feel like giving up, you're going to remember that thing inside of you that says, this is why you're doing this in the very first place. So determine why you're doing this. Number three, Identify your niche. Identify that thing that makes you unique and build upon it and also make modifications along the way. You have some people who do lifestyle vlogs like myself. You have those who do cooking tutorials and hair tutorials and also video game vlogs. So find out what makes you different from everyone else and put your own beautiful spin on it for the world to see. Number four, do it because you love it. Don't do it for extra cash because that may not come until later down the road, but do it because you really truly love what you're doing. And trust me, as your viewers, we'll see it exude from you. So just keep that in mind. When you truly are passionate about something, it will show. Number five, set goals for yourself. Setting goals for yourself is absolutely imperative because it keeps you accountable. It also helps you to determine how far you are willing to go as well as give you an opportunity to reflect on how far you've come. You can set short or long-term goals. It's completely up to you. You may have a goal to reach a certain community of people. Your goals can be whatever you want them to be. It's completely up to you and it's all in your control. So definitely consider setting goals for yourself. Number six, be relatable. Offer your viewers something that allows them to see themselves in it. Give them an opportunity to look up to you and say to themselves, if you can do it, so can I. Number seven, when creating content, consider giving back to your community, your followers, your audience, through your talents. Sow those rich seeds into people's lives that make them feel good about themselves, make them feel better about their lives and not worse. Number eight, don't break the bank. You may decide later down the road that this is not for you. And by then you've spent a ton of money on equipment. So just make sure that you don't go way above your means to purchase equipment. Now, speaking of equipment, you wanna make sure that you're using a decent camera. That speaks volumes for your videos and your brand. Now, I've been asked on many occasions what camera I use for my videos. And I am going to tell you, I use my cell phone. I have an iPhone X Max and the camera quality is amazing. And I love using it because it gets the job done and it does what I need it to do. 
I'm actually using my cell phone to record this video right now, as well as all of my past videos. Now, I've decided not to go out and purchase an expensive camera because like I mentioned before, it may or may not be for me. So before I go out and make these huge purchases, I decided to be a little bit frugal and work with what I have, and that's okay. Another important thing that you want to consider when making these videos is consider your lighting. You wanna make sure that your lighting is adequate enough because if it's not, your viewers will have difficulty staying engaged in your videos because they can barely see you or the quality is not as good as it should be. You also wanna have a backdrop and not just a blank wall. I've seen people use Christmas lights as a backdrop, picture frames as a backdrop, anything that complements what's behind you. Because a blank wall is boring. It's not as appealing. A simple backdrop can make all the difference in the world. You don't wanna go overboard either because you don't want it to be a distraction from what you're saying and what you're doing. You wanna make sure you have something to complement the background. Number nine, make sure you have adequate storage. These videos consume quite a bit of your memory in your camera or in your cell phone. So you wanna make sure that you have enough storage to contain all of these videos that you're recording. Now, what I do is I have 64 gig memory in my cell phone and what I usually do is I'll record my videos and then I'll upload them to YouTube and I'll delete them. I have no use for them after that. Once they're uploaded to YouTube, we're good to go. And that gives me the space that I need to continue to record my videos, my personal videos that I keep for myself, as well as the videos that I record for YouTube. So remember, adequate memory means more movies for YouTube. Number 10, watch other creators on YouTube and learn from them. I've learned a great deal about video recording and video editing just by watching other people on YouTube. We are a community of people and we learn from each other. And that's what this platform is all about. See and do and learn and grow. So be sure that you subscribe to other people's channels and support them. And you'll be surprised how people will support you back. And you'll be also be surprised how much you learn from others just by watching their channels. So just remember that important thing. Watch other YouTube creators and learn from them. Number 11, set aside time to record and edit your videos because it is going to require it. Some say that being a YouTube creator is like having a full-time job. They are not kidding. It takes a lot of time to record your videos and edit your videos. So just keep in mind, it's not something that happens instantaneously. It does take time. And if you're anything like me, you wanna make sure that the videos you put out there are at the highest quality that you can provide. So please understand, it's gonna take time. So you wanna make sure that you plan your day and plan out what you're gonna do. Number 12, and this one is very near and dear to me because I had to learn the hard way. Write down your new ideas for video content. I learned that the hard way because I basically trusted my fortune to my memory and it failed me every time. Once I decided to start writing down my ideas, it allowed me to help plan my videos and make them a little bit more structured. So write down your ideas, even if they seem insignificant at the time, write it down because you'll be surprised that today it may seem insignificant, but tomorrow it may be extremely profound. So write down your ideas, stop what you're doing and write them down and go about your day. Number 13, if you haven't done so already, create a Google account because that is what you're gonna use to create your YouTube channel. Also, you want to create social media accounts that complement your brand, your niche, and your channel. Examples, Facebook, 
Instagram, Twitter, and so on. You wanna use those platforms to complement your channel in a way that helps support your channel, support your brand, and support your message. And it also allows you to promote your brand, your channel, and your message. Number 14, I would encourage you to post at least once a week, at the very least. Because keep in mind, the more videos that you post, the more engaged your audience will be. And it'll give them something to look forward to. Now, if you post once a month, once every couple of months, once every six months, your audience tends to forget about you. But if you continue to stay engaged and continue to keep things in front of them, they'll be more interested and they'll be looking forward to seeing you in your next videos. Number 15, get the YouTube Studio app. I love this app because it allows me to see things in the background that's going around on my channel just by using my cell phone. Now, of course, you can go into the YouTube studio on your computers or your laptops, but it's I like using my cell phone and this app is very, very helpful because it has everything I need right there at my fingertips anytime, anywhere. So consider getting the YouTube studio app. Number 16, know the requirements to get monetized on YouTube. Now, for those of you who don't know what monetization on YouTube is, it's simply YouTube paying you to do what you do on YouTube. Now, there are certain requirements that you have to accomplish before monetization ever takes place. The two main things are you have to have 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers before you're eligible to apply for monetization. There are other things that take place, but those things take place after you've accomplished the 4,000 watch hours and the 1,000 subscribers. Welcome back, everyone. Oh, it's hot. Here. It's a wrap.